What's up YouTube? I'm just going to continue another review that I done a few days ago, but as always, because I can't use my brothers, because always people use this other computer, that is right there is a green one over there. Uh, that's the one I sometimes use when there's not a lot of people, or probably there's no one, it's just me and a dog who's literally there. And yeah, Andrena! Yeah! Oi! Okay, she's awake. Hello. Woo. Yes. Oh, oh, she's waking up. Oh, hello. Hi. Hello. You're on camera. Oh, she she doesn't really budge. She doesn't realise there's a camera. She doesn't know what the camera is. So, since she's a dog, so hey. Um. Okay. A few days ago, um, I did a, when I was sick, <laughs> I don't know why I did a re reaction, sick, when I was sick, I did reaction videos. I just, in my mind, I said, I can't continue waiting because I'm going to go crazy. So, this is what happens when you're a reactor, even if you're sick and you know there's videos sitting on your video watch later list on YouTube. He's like, no, everyone's reacting. I want to react now so I can see their opinion. But hey, because I can't watch anything, I didn't download any songs, nothing, didn't watch any teaser, nothing. When I mean nothing is capiche. Uh, okay, so this one was Bestie. Bestie is one of those groups I kind of like. I gave it a chance for as soon as this group Debuted. I know some people, a lot of people, a lot of you guys don't take chances on new groups. You kind of take chances on the most obvious groups like EXO, VIX, SHINee, Super Junior, Top Dog, kind of? Uh, yeah. Or let's say like Sistar, Girls Day, yeah, yeah, all these 21, Big Bang. Um, Okay, now, Bestie's been a while, and last year they didn't do as much. They just, I think they debuted, like, in November 2013, if, like, end of 2013, like, around the same time as, more or less, Top Dog, but not exactly, but still, they did an MV. So this MV, I really like the song, I really got obsessed with it at one point, and then I decided to download it. Now, with that said... It's been like nearly a year and a half since they didn't budge to do any MVs or any comebacks. Until this year, uh, I looked on the list of, on Wikipedia, where they will say um, there's a list of each month there the people, solo artists or groups that will do comebacks or debut groups or solos. Like, yeah, you know, you get the point. So... There were one of them. I was like, oh my god, so Bestie's doing a comeback. So, I must wait. So I waited for so long until that happened. That was like two months earlier, so I knew they were doing a comeback. Um, to be honest, I liked the concept. It was an interesting concept. And it feels like... It's just showing the side how we females see in guys, how we see them sometimes. You know, from the outside, it's saying that from the outside, it's from the MV, how I analysed the MV, kind of a bit. <laughs> how guys are perceived from the inside instead of the outside. The outside, they're like very angelic, they're very kind, they're very friendly. But when you see through the inside, not the outside, you see uh, a very hungry wolf hunting for a prey, basically. Or if it's not that way, well, probably it's the other way around, that the guy is not into girls, but they're into... Sorry, uh, into somebody else that is 
the same sex as they are, as same sex, basically. So, in the MV, obviously, you're not going to have these magical eyes to see through, but you, the, one of the members found this very mysterious glasses, which looks awesome. They look, look very good looking glasses. So, they're just playing around with it, and then they, one of them just kind of closed the thing on to touch it, and then they look like, like, the way it was shaped, obviously the glasses looked like John Lennon's kind of glasses that he would wear. Because he used to wear those kind of glasses, the sunglasses that go, yeah, that closes and opens. So anyways, uh, one of the members was able to see the inside of the guy. When I open, the when I just take off the glasses, do you see the guys are just normal, they're like chilling. They're just really cool, but it's just the whenever they put on the glasses, they see the real them like right inside their soul. So it's like you've seen a guy right through them, their soul, and see what they're like, basically. It was interesting MV to be honest, and it is a bit of comedy, but it's com it's not cutesy, but it's very different. It's sexy, it's cutesy, it's funny, it's, if it's not your thing, uh, I guess you guys can't, don't need to watch it. I'm just saying. Because I know some people start to hate on something for no reason, I don't understand why you guys do that, but, but it's just a song. And it's just a concept, and this concept was a genius concept for girls group. Because normally girls group don't usually... I think they have, but I don't remember which one it is. But this was the best concert I've seen through, guys. Like, dude, they're pervs. They're perverts. They're a bunch of perverts. It's like, and when it's not, oh, they're not perverts, but they're gay. Okay. Weird. So, that's all, you guys. So, I really like the song as well. The choreography was simple. Uh, the outfits, it was... Like I, I was saying in the video, but because the video got cut off, the stupid camera, uh, <coughs> I mentioned that it's very colourful, and that because it's so colourful, it kind of reminded me of, of Girls' Generation, I Got a Boy, of the mass of colours it was, the way it looked, <coughs> including outfits, so, excuse me, <coughs> oh my gosh, I hate being sick, but I'm trying to recover, it's just, it feels really painful in your chest. But anyways, so what did you think of the MV? What was your opinion on the concept itself, the colours, the outfits, the song, everything of it that they did? I think it was genius. I think it was well thought, put together song slash MV. Um, with that said, you guys, that is all you guys. I'm just going to make it short. Uh, I gave this, like, 9 out of 10, just to make it fair. But, yeah, it's good, it's good. I wish it was more pervert guys. I wish they could have ended up with a guy that is a pretty normal guy that is not gay, nor a pervert, but, yeah. Because they ended up with being upset, there was no luck, because they're all all over the place. But, anyways, that is all, you guys. So... It's just that kind of short thing. It wasn't that. Long. So, yeah, that's all, you guys. I think that's it. Oh, you know, I hate being sick every day. Not every day. I hate being sick in general. I just don't like being sick, especially being on camera, and especially when you want to make reaction videos. I just want to be normal, not being sick. Why do we have to be sick? Why? Anyways, that's <laughs> sorry if I ranted. Uh, what do you think of the MV? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Did you like it or do you hate it? Please comment down below your opinions of it. Um, also, what could have been improved for this group to be more, not popular, but be noticed more? I know it's getting noticed since this MV, so a lot of people have been doing a lot a couple of reactions from JRE to Mr. Popo and you know and so on. Uh, yeah. So 
Done it, yeah, yeah, I think it's, yeah, what did you think? So, basically just give out your thoughts of it. Um, yeah, that is all you guys, so please remember to subscribe my channel, like this video, share this video, also, follow me in all of my social media, <laughs> like my fan page on Facebook, and thank you for those for to those who support my stories on on fan fiction and non fact thing and non fan fictions. Please continue to support me. Uh, if you want to be new, just 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 yeah, <laughs> you get the deal. You just find someone and you just request and request and read my stories and request <coughs> on the commentary. But yeah, that is all, you guys. So. Annyeong everyone and salang hey